we have the condyles that uh, articulate with the radius ulna. This one here gets its name trochlea because of the way it's, it's shaped, as if a rope were to pass through here in a pulley. This one over here is a condyle known as the capitulum. It articulates with the radial head. These areas here and here then are referred to as epicondyles. This one here that is very pointed and projected is the medial epicondyle. It's palpable here on the inner surface of the humerus. This one over here is the lateral epicondyle. This is called the lateral supracondylar ridge. It is a ridge above the condyle on the lateral side. Muscle attachment. This is an indentation here that accepts the coronoid process of the ulna. It's called the coronoid fossa. This is an indentation that accepts the olecranon process of the ulna. It's called the olecranon fossa. As we come up the bone on the lateral surface, we see a raised rough area. This tells us tuberosity. This is the deltoid tuberosity. It accepts the insertion of the deltoid. This is on the proximal end. We have tubercles here and then a groove in between. That's called the intertubicular groove. It's a place for a tendon. This is the head of the humerus. Okay. 